2K Sports pregame show. Tonight, it'll be Team World going up against Team USA. It's like looking into a crystal ball and seeing what this league will become. Some of these first and second year guys will go on to play in numerous all-star games, and hopefully for them, championship games. Thinking back, Kenny. Okay, you ready to think back? Mm -hmm. What was the biggest difference between your rookie year and your second NBA season? Statistically for me, it didn't change much. I probably, you know, jumped about four points in terms of point average and maybe two or three assists. So that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a leap in a bound because the game slows down for you. So in the second year, that's a little bit easier for me. Well, I was a better free throw shooter. I shot 62% uh, of the percent of the time. I also averaged three and a half block shots as a rookie, the most of my career. You shot better free throws? You hear what I said? I shot 60%, 100% of the time. Is that a laugh, Ernie? You holding it in? Shut it up. Welcome to the NBA Rising Stars Challenge, a game that has become such a special part of all-star festivities. And that's really because it, it always provides us with such an entertaining look at the next generation of, of NBA stars. In a game like this where the pressure's off and it's all about having fun, I think we really get an opportunity to see just how skilled these young players are. Exactly. I mean, nobody's going to get on top of you if you go behind your back or you try something out of the ordinary. And that means we get to see these young guys pull off some amazing plays in this game every year. And now the opening lineup for Team World. They've got Bowl, Luka Doncic out there with Williams, and it's Musa in at the two guard. Now here's Doncic. Six on the shot clock. Here's Musa. It's hauled in by Team USA. A lot of great plays being made here on the defensive end. That indeed is a rarity. The highlights are almost always on the offensive end of the floor in this event. Now we know just how exciting Trey Young can be as a player from his college days at Oklahoma. He can, he can just take over games. We saw it many times last year. I mean, just incredible range and is not afraid to pull up from anywhere. The, the type of lead guard that can have an entire offense run through and around him much like another former Sooner in heel he gets compared to Curry in the way he plays and can take over with his shot here's Williams Zion Williamson making his last shot and, and it's just something about the rising stars challenge it, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage maybe for the first time in their professional career yeah easy call yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Team USA shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And that one falls for Barrett. You brought the big stage these young guys around tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And, and it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. And, and guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fame. Yeah, spoilers here early after their first four shots. They right now are searching for a bucket. Culver's shot is off. On offense, here's Team World. Still without a basket in the game. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. And I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game.
on the first one, guys. And for me, this is always one of the best weeks of the year. So much fun for everyone involved. Fans, players, coaches. What a blast. Yeah, the NBA knows how to throw a party in celebrating its game. There's no doubt about that. An All-Star Week is one great show after another. And Team USA making a change here. Bagley's checked in. And so he hits both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. I had a chance to talk with the head coach for Team World. We talked about his philosophy working with young players like we'll be in the game tonight. He said they have all the energy in the world. I'm just here to help them channel it in the right directions. The nice thing about this event is that it lets them know where they stand and what they need to improve upon. Guys? Okay, David, thanks. Here's Musa following the basket by Trey Young. And for a guy who hasn't been able to get a ton of minutes this season, great that he's had a chance to show off his skill set here tonight. And he does have some skills to show off. I mean, his opportunity for more playing time is going to come soon enough. He just has to stay patient. Here's Musa. He feeds it to Williams. And there's the pass to Doncic. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. Young dishes to Bagley. Now, Williamson. Aiton with it. Over Bull. And it's Aiton missing. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Musa. With some art, he takes it up and lays it in. It's a tie ball game. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. Young passes to Aiton. It's Young on the wing. Pass to Bagley. Second shot opportunity. They get it again. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Bull, that's good. And the big fella knows how to score the basketball. Bull's understanding of when to look for his is next level. Aiton inside. And it's Williamson missing. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Pass to Musa. Kicks it to Bowl. The second effort. It's deflected. And, and using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiden can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. And yeah, he, he's 280 pounds. We've never seen anyone hang in the air like this young man. Williamson is special. Here's Doncic. Zion Williamson making his last shot. Hits the three-point bomb. <laughs> How about the big fella stepping outside and showing us some range? Well, he gets some grief for that shot in a regular game, but in this setting, you're allowed that kind of latitude and freedom. Now, here's Aiton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And it's Williamson missing. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. And Bull wide open. He shoots with nobody on him. He carries the jumper. <laughs> and the touch ball has, is impressive. You can tell he has a lot of confidence in that shot. Young left side. And no good. And Team World will come the other way. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Archie Diacono, the pass to Bull. Some solid defense from Aiton. Doncic against Bagley. They get a hand on it. Archie Diacono. Pass to Musa. Oh, 
Over to the left wing. Bowl. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. Oh, great ball movement there. Team USA trails by seven. And here's Young. And they get it. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss. One of Aiden's specialties. And now the first time out called here for Team World. And with DeAndre Ayton, he looks like he could end up as one of the top centers in the league. I mean, he has all the tools you want from a modern center. Great size and wingspan, protects the paint well, very strong for his age, and has shown he can dominate. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Williamson. White comes in for Culver. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Trey Young. Boucher passes to a Kobo. Shot from free throw range. Offensive rebound. And it's blocked. White looking around. Outside for Jackson. And Aiton throws it down. And dunking the ball is just second nature to Aiden. With the right positioning, he's a threat to throw it down. Here's Garuch. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Team USA trails by five. Now here's Brunson. Now the pass to White. Here's Aiton. And Jen shot, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Team World called for the foul. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Team World. A lot of success from mid-range so far for them, guys. If nothing else works, they can always fall back on the jump shot. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. Free throw drops for Aiton. And you just have to be enticed by the skill set of Aiton. A seven foot one behemoth who plays with a lot of physicality and skill on both ends. Aiton hits them both. Team World leading by three. Kobo, the pass to Karouche. And it's Aiton with the rebound. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for Team USA. White, Aiton trying to break free. Here's a Kobo. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game and a skilled shot blocker to boot. Love how Bagley uses that height and reach to stifle shooting. On offense, here's Team World. It's a three-point game. Team World with another miss. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. But they'll get another chance. And Jackson throws it down hard. Nice job cleaning some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. You know, Kevin, you can't be pretty, though, with those second-chance opportunities. I mean, just put it in the basket. Here's a Kobo after the basket by Team USA. Five on the clock. Pass 
to Karuch. This one for three. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Yeah, and they have dialed it up a notch here, really battling to extend this run. Akobo, the pass to Karuch. Out to the wing. Here's Reddick. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And Team World leads by one. And it's Team USA with the ball. Now, Brunson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. No good on that one. Some solid defense from Anadokounmpo. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. Boucher passes to Okobo. Fires from the line, and he hits the jumper for two. And now a three-point team world lead. Right side bagger. Rebound by Team World. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. And the basket by Karuch. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Bagley finds eight. And he comes up with the deuce. Aiton's got eight points. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Here's a Kobo. From deep, three-point Oh, he gets it to go! Wow! It counts! Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. That's an impossible shot, man, even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Hmm. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Team World leads by six. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play. And they are putting on a show. And you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. Jackson is out there with Wendell Carter. Then it's Barrett, then it's White, and it's Holiday in at the one. So that's who Team USA starts the second with. And to Dekumbo. Lays it off and banks it in. On to Dekumbo's got the lead up to eight now for Team World. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly... Very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. Passes it to Boucher. Pass to Karuch. Six to shoot. The pass to Banga. Here's Reddish. Again, Team World good for two. Yeah, teammate to teammate on the assist that time. Well, the communication between them, that's what we see every game during the regular season, and it's on display here in the All-Star Week as well. Carter, that's good. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on it. Team World leading by eight. Manga, the pass to Anna Kumbo. Back to Kuroops. Good ball movement here by Team World. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. 
Bruch has got six. Just playing with poise and confidence, and they continue to put points on the board. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Here's Boucher. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. Pass to Reddish. Over White. They grab their own miss. And how about all these dunks? I mean, this game's been a complete crowd pleaser, no doubt. I know. I'm loving it. These players are really strutting their stuff tonight. Showtime. Holiday with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. From deep, White. Good. And you have got to honor White on the perimeter. Once he gets comfortable from there, it's going to be bad news for the defense. Bunga, the pass to Boucher. Yep, that one goes in there. Boucher's got his second basket. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been an impressive offensive output. Now, here is Holiday. Team USA shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And he can't get the first one. Last season, the NBA announcing the launch of a league in Africa, along with FIBA. Clark, what do you think of that move? I think it's another example, Kevin, of the globalization of the game and the NBA's intentional, purposeful um, way of expanding and continuing to, to grow the game for the sake of the business of basketball, which is a game that obviously you and I love. And, Clark, we see so many foreign players come into the NBA and play well. Not just play, but, but play well. Yeah, and not just Africa, although right. I love a number of players from Africa, but a, a number of different countries have, have signed on. It could make for a more exciting league. Here's Carter. And at last, they get one to fall. Carter's got four points now in the quarter. And so it's Bonga who brings up the ball for Team World. They've held a 12-point lead early. Anjic passes to Bonga. And it's out of bounds. Team World will retain possession. Trey Young, he's checked in for Aaron Holiday. Here's Bull. He's got six. Count it. Good. Boy, like seeing these passes. Doncic has a keen sense for when one of his guys is open, and he gets it to him on time on target. Young outside. The feed to Williamson. Just five to shoot. Tipped away. And out of bounds as Team World gains possession. Team World leading by 10. Bunga the pass to Bull. Dishes it to Doncic. Over Barrett. Doncic no good. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. How about the recognition from Culver? Terrific at realizing when the defense has broken down. Doncic, no good. And the team has gotten it done here in spite of his performance. Still over from the field. But nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. And it's Team World with the ball. After the basket by Team USA. Pocket six. Pulls up on the wing. Basket good. 
Doncic has got his first bucket of the night. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Passes to Young. There's the triple. Tries again. That one's in there. The team world lead has cut down to just six points and the bucket from Carter. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Anjic passes to Bonga. Now Bowl. A second chance effort. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Culver. Rebound by Team World. Here's Bonga. Here's Bowl. And the dunk by Bowl. That's just too easy for Ball. Once he gets the right position, his focus there is on the finish. And it's Carter missing. Team World leading by eight. Now, here's Doncic. A beautiful reverse layup. Doncic has got four points in the quarter. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Young inside. Got a hand on it. Here's Musa. Bull. It's hauled in by Team USA. Carter's got seven rebounds in the game. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Young. That's tipped. And, and that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. Now, here's Doncic. Lays it up off the glass. Doncic has got six points. Someone fans are looking forward to seeing. Bull Bull has a very unique game for his size. Over seven foot two, but he's really a finesse player. He's a ball handler, passer, has the deep range. Tools that play very well in this type of an event. Team World leading by eight. Pass to Musa. Feeds it to Williams. The layup missed. And so Young will bring it up for Team USA. Barrett, no good. Here's Bonga. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on R.J. Barrett. Team World shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First free throw is good. A different look now for Team USA. Andre Ayton's checked in for Wendell Carter. Marvin Bagley comes in for Williamson. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Culver. And a change for Team World. Okobo's checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And here's Team USA now. Trailing by 10. Picked away. And the fast break now for Team World. Right through the D for the layup. Okobo's got seven. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. Now, here's Bagley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Four on the clock. Here's Brunson. And there's the call on DeAndre Ayton. That is his first foul of the game. Ryan Archidiakono now checked in for Team World. Team World leading by 12. And the pass to Okobo. The dish to bowl. It's hauled in by Team USA. Ayton's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. On 
Jones in the pass to Barrett. Back to Young. Pass to Brunson. Tries from 10. He can't get that one. And Team World will come the other way. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. I, I think you're right. I mean, an up fake here or there, getting the ball inside, that's how you create high percentage offense. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Young with no one around. And again, Team USA, no luck. It has not been his game so far. I mean, he's trying his best, giving great effort, but little has gone his way. Bull, that's good. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Young pass to Bagley. Stolen. Here's Archie Diakono, defended by Young. One twelve left to play here in the half. Five to shoot. Here's a Kobo. Here's Williams. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Marvin Bagley picks one up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. And he makes the first. Jaron Jackson. He's checked in for Team USA. Aaron Holiday comes in for Trey Young. And a change for Team World. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Bull. And Williams drops them both. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoop. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Now here's eight. Eight points for him. Just great awareness there for Maiden. Understands the game plan and reads the game so well. Passes it to Doncic. 36 seconds left to play in the first half. Over Jackson. Doncic, no good. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Team World. Archie Diakono, the pass to Okobo. Pulls it up. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's Team World with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead 16 points. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. The Rising Stars game has become such a special part of All-Star Weekend. We couldn't have a better showcase for the incredible players that are just getting their NBA careers underway. Just think of all the plays that these young players have in front of them. <laughs> well, this Rising Star game is kind of a glimpse of what we're going to see in the future. Pull out your crystal ball and you got to see the stars of the future. This game has a little extra kick, a little extra energy over most others. I love it. You know, this guy can really increase the national visibility for some of those young guys. When you dominate in the Rising Star game, people take notice. We've already seen some intense basketball here. I expect the energy in the second half will only increase, baby. Trust me. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody. With Kevin Harlan. Welcome back.
back to the showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. Team World leading by 16. So, Team World's five right now. Williams is out there with Doncic. Then there's Bull. And it's Musa in at the two. And that one's good, Archie Diakono. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. To the paint. Here's Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. You just can't leave anyone open around Young. He's very capable of spotting his uncovered teammates. Pass to Musa. Here's Bull. <laughs> Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. For Team World, they have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. And that one falls for Bull. And like his father, Manu, Bull's combination of size and scoring is very unique. The, the key for him is just staying healthy. He's perfect from the line this time. Team USA trails by 18. Young and Aiton the bucket on the assist from Young. Young's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Donchich outside. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him five for 12 so far. What a strong, versatile offensive player. Donchich capable of burning you from anywhere on the floor. Oh, Aiton in position. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. And a long wind-up and strong follow-through on the one-hand jam. Yeah, he's not going to mess that one up. I certainly hope not. And the dunk by Williamson. And the defense learned a valuable lesson there. Don't let Williamson get to that launching pad around the rim. Here's Archie Diakono. Here's Musa. No good on the three. This offense's first miss after three straight makes to start. Culver dishes to Williamson. And Bull pulls it down. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Here's Doncic. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's, and rarely do you see a player like Doncic come in so polished, guys, at this age. I mean, Doncic already looks like a 10-year vet. Very precise with every movement and decision he makes on the wing. Just a great knack for passing, plus that vision. And it's Team World with the ball. Zion Williamson unable to get his last shot to go. Here's Barrett. And Barrett slams it in. Putting that speed to great use. Once Barrett gets a step on the D, good night. There's the pass to Musa. To the middle. Here's Bowl. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. And Team World calls time here.
Team World making some changes. Boucher is checked in, and Karuj is subbed in for Doncic. Here's Bull. The teardrop falls in. Bull's got 20 points. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Young, right side, from the baseline. Rebound by Team World. Here's Archie Diakono. Pass to Reddish. Archie Diakono taking his time here. Shot clock at three. Here's Bowl. Again, Team World good for two. And guys, this is kind of Bowl's role. He's out there to score, and he does it in a variety of ways. Passes it to Barrett. Williamson with it. He kicks it to Young. Some nice ball movement by Team USA. That one rolling around and rims out. And so it's Archie Diakono with it. He brings it up for Team World. Back to Kuroks. He dishes it to Bowl. Pass to Boucher. A three. He doesn't hit that one. Team USA trails by 18. Shot by Young. And Barrett slams it in. Man, sometimes it feels like Barrett wants it more than anyone else on the floor. The pass to Reddish. Pass to Karuch. Can't hit that time. Team USA going the other way with it. A nice shot by Culver. I'll tell you, Culver has an array of moves once he gets into the paint. Passes to Boucher. Pass to Reddish. Down low, Karouche. And that one is hammered home. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. Young taking his time here. And Barrett slams it in. And you see the edge Barrett plays with attacking the rim with bad intentions. Here's Karouche. Eight points for him. To the inside. Bull. And the dunk by Bull. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. And Team USA decides to take their first time out here. Greg, how about the Latvian Kurus? The 40th pick in 2018, but he made the rising stars as a rookie. Long and limber. His defense has been NBA ready from the start. Even if we don't see much of it tonight. Substitution here for Team USA. Sharon Jackson, he's checked in for Aiton. Marvin Bagley comes in for Williamson. White, he's checked in for Culver. And Aaron Holliday is subbed in for Young. The pass to Jackson. Inside. Here's Barrett. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. And that's 10 points for R.J. Barrett. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Bull can't hit. You know, fought hard from start to finish on that play. Defended the shot and then finished it off with the rebound. Man, he is just really in a flow right now. That field goal percentage has gone through the roof. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Team World. You know, I thought maybe they'd cool off a bit at halftime, but they've continued to bury the jump shots. I've been impressed with how well they've penetrated tonight, too. And the first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Pass to Jackson. Passes it to Barrett. White with it. Over Reddish. That one's in there. The team world lead is cut down to just 12 points on the bucket from White. An assertive offensive player. White knows he has the green light to rise and fire. Here's Karuch. 10 points for him. Reddish with the ball. Here's a Kobo. Team World needs to get off a shot. Onto the Kumbo, no good. You know, even though it's a point blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. And probably more of a natural score than passer. White has worked hard on his playmaking ability. And he's got his first free throw of the game. USA. White at the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. And both free throws good for White. Team World leading by 10. Here's a Kobo. He has seven. Karuch passes to a Kobo. Back to Karuch. Bagley brings the double team. Here's Reddish. It's hauled in by Team USA. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. And the dunk by Bowl. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And that one, good. And you like the toughness there. Barrett being more comfortable having to deal with an aggressive defense. Reddish with the ball. White's there. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Bagley. And Team USA making a change here. Brunson's checked in. And a change for Team World. Doncic is checked in. Off the inbound, and it's out of the Kumbo with the bucket inside. And Team World leads by 10. And you can tell they had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. Jackson looking around. And Holiday kicks to Barrett. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Barrett's got 14 points now in the second half. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Now, here's Reddish. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. 
That's his first personal foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. The first one fall. Carter, he's checked in for Team USA. Musa, he's checked in for Team World. And so he's able to get one of two. And guys, what they say they like about Jaron Jackson is how good he is with either hand. I mean, he goes left or right, can pull up going left or right effectively. Very crafty with how he finishes plays and has great activity with how he plays. I mean, he could end up being a fantastic big man. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. Now, here's Barrett. He's guarded closely. Doncic comes with the double team. Outside Jackson, shot clock at six. Brunson, no good. And it's a Kobo with the ball for Team World. They led by as many as 18 points. This is to Reddish. And here is Doncic. Ten points for him. Over Holiday. Here's Musa. Tries again. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. And that one misses. And Team World making a change here. Williams has checked in. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Team USA trails by 11. Out to the right wing. Takes a three, and out of bounds as Team World gains Team possession. Ball, he's checked in for Antetokounmpo. Team World leading by 11. Here's a Kobo. It's hauled in by Team USA. Jackson's got seven rebounds in the game. Yeah, inside, Bowl does a great job just making subtle adjustments and utilizing that length. Here's Brunson. He feeds it to Carter. Basket counts. Carter's got ten. And so it's Team World holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Back right after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime dropping there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And we're glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. 
And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And, you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoy playing together and against each other. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All field up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. And so in the game for Team USA, they've got Barrett. Jackson is out there with Wendell Carter. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Holiday in at the shooting guard position. free throw no good and the second free throw good and just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. Now here's Brunson. A floater. It's tipped. And now the fans break. Doncic with the ball. That one a little long. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Team USA. It's a 10-point game. Pass to Carter. Takes it from 10. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And 12 points for Wendell Carter. He can be a matchup nightmare if he can get it in the paint. Manga, the pass to Musa. The pass to Banga. Down to five on the shot clock. Donchich outside. Let's it go from deep. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. It's good. Barrett's got 16 here in the second half. And that's all the defense can do. Barrett just appeared determined to score. Didn't care who was on it. Bull and the dunk by Bull. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, timeout, indeedy. Timeout. Well done. And Team USA calling timeout here. It's been quite a game for Bowl Bowl. Absolutely on fire. They need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his roll. Substitution here for Team USA. Andre Ayton's checked in for Wendell Carter. Williamson comes in for Jackson. Culver's checked in for Aaron Holiday. Young is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Ryan Archidiakono now checked in for Team World. Here's Ayton. Young outside, down low. Let's it go. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Team World leading by eight. Here's Archie Diakono. And he finishes nicely on the way. Cashing in on the interior, making it look all too easy. Team USA with the ball. And there's Ayton, and that's good on the assist from Young. 20 points for DeAndre Ayton. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. 10 straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Here's Bull. A shot. No good. 
some solid defense from eight. Young left side. Now the dish to Aiton. To the middle. Rebound by Team World. Williams has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Doncic. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on R.J. Barrett. Boy, I tell you what, Doncic plays with really good energy and awareness. But also, he's got a quiet physicality to him. And he doesn't mind being bumped around when he's trying to score. That free throw good from Doncic. You know, early on, Doncic has proven to be a leader. I mean, this guy is somebody that can shoulder the offense and take and make big shots for his team. Oh, free throws good from Doncic. Team USA trails by 10. To the paint, looking to get it going, and it's laid up and in by Young. You gotta like seeing this from Young. We're wanting to prove he's more than just a jump shoot. On your job side. Tries it from nine, and it's off the back rim, no good. Barrett, wide open, he fires. A three-pointer off the mark. And so, it's Archie Diakono with it. He brings it up for Team World. They led by as many as 18 points. Well, it's so easy to be excited about Doncic. A lot to like in his game, especially when he's sinking tough shots in the face of the defense like this. No one near Williamson as he lets it go. From outside, off the mark. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Archie Diakono kicks to Williams. Here's Musa. Shot clock at five. Here's Archie Diakono. And it's Williamson with the rebound. Team USA trails by ten. There at the pass to Young. But three. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Young. Leading by 10. Anjic passes to Archie Diakono. Good ball movement here by Team World. It's Bull, top of the key. Pass to Archie Diakono. And it goes down two points. Archie Diakono's got four this quarter. And at 7 2, Bull has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. Passes it to Williamson. Aiton inside. There's the double team with Bull. Puts up a three. Team USA keeps it going. A new 14-second clock. Here's Musa. It's hauled in by Team USA. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Here's Williams. Zion Williamson making his last shot. It's pulled top of the key. To the inside, Archie Diakono. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And Team World leads by 12. And here's Team USA now. Young dishes to Barrett. Williamson with it. Williams picks him up. Williamson kicks to Young. To the paint. 
Pass to Culver. From past the arc, they get it back. And Aiton throws it down. Yeah, just proving how fast he can heat up. Once Aiden finds that rhythm, he is going to work. Anjic passes to Musa. Shoots from the block. It doesn't go for him. Team USA going the other way with it. Inside, Aiden. And the lead is down inside single digits. Aiton's got 14 points now in the second half. Here's Archie Diakono, defended by Young. Archie Diakono, the pass to Bowl. They double him with Aiton. Nobody near Williams. And it's off from three-point range. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Back to Doncic. Outside Williams. Now the pass to Bowl. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. And the dunk by Williamson. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this one. I didn't think it was going to happen for them, quite honestly, but they finally turned it on, turned it up a little bit. Now they've got to come up with some stops. And Team World calls time here. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Bowl Bowl. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Doncic down low and that one's good Archie Diakono seems like he can't miss right now guys I mean completely in the zone this quarter now Culver to the middle here's Williamson it's good that's eight baskets for him now eight for 15 shooting and this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint here's Musa Williams, and he uses the glass on the lane. And Team World leads by six. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. So the wing on the left. Shoots from 12. And Culver gets it to go on the assist by Young. Young's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Doncic feeling it out. And Williams with the stuff. And he just elevates and powers in the one-hand mm -hmm. textbook. I'm glad he didn't go overboard and try to do too much there. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Free throw drops for Aiton. He's basically automatic from the line. Not the guy you want to send there now. 
Doncic passes to Musa. Shoots over Culver. Musa can't hit. Team USA trails by three. Puts it up from 17. And Team USA getting another basket right there. And how about the young fella, Culver, showing some poise there. This is why his team goes to him in these situations, not afraid of the moment. Bull can't hit. And they're in position to take the lead. And how big would a bucket be at this stage of the game? A nice shot by Culver. And how about the balance there from Culver? Really good at staying in control despite the deep being all over him. Here's Archie Diakono, defended by Young. They get the rebound. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. Barrett, no good. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Team World. Shoots over Colbert. Williams controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And Team World leads by one. Well, as we move into the fourth, it's been an even game. Guys, teams have exchanged the lead five times thus far. Out left of the wing. Here's Barrett. And a miss there on the triple. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Doncic outside. Now the feed the bowl. Back to Doncic. Just five on the clock. Here's Musa. Those three pointers off the mark. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down. Right, 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 right. Try to get some easy ones. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. And Team World calls time here. They're down by one. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? And usually you want to go for the two-for-one here to maximize the clock. Team World calls time here. They're trailing by one. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. passes to Musa. Team USA grabs the miss. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. And an intentional foul right there. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. At the one for two. He 
doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And, and Culver's game just screams potential. Already a good score, rebounder, and passer. Now the next step, improving that outside shot. And the second of two is good. That will put them up by two. We've got 22 seconds left in the game. Here's Archie Diacono. Kicks to Williams. Can't cash in. So it's Team USA taking the win in a close one. I can't say enough about how well all these young men competed here tonight. A great show for the fans and a clear picture of just how many talented up-and-comers we have here in the NBA. Greg, no doubt there are some future greats among the players we saw here tonight. and We're pleased to have brought you all the action. So now for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan saying good night, everyone.